we're we're not shooting over water in this case. We have our towers backed up to the north and we shoot over to the land. So we're on a water edge shooting towards another water edge with houses in the middle because we're on a peninsula. So the towers being to the north shooting to the south, we don't have to uh, compete with water on the multi-point deployment, but we do on some of our point-to-point -point deployments. And then we see rain fade as any, or not rain fade, we see um, uh, thermal ducting and thermal fade, you know, as anyone else would. It's it's no different here, especially with the heat. Yesterday it was 101 degrees, so we had we had pretty bad ducting uh, over the marshland. Height has been our our biggest, the only thing that we've been able to do to allow us to overcome it. Um, we we are as high as possible on some of these towers, which we're limited because we're in residential areas, and so our backhauls can be you know on the 130 foot tower they're they're at the top rather than below the multi point as we would in a normal deployment, but. Um, Height is really our only uh, our only winning factor there. Um, the the best practice, honestly, is the the installers. We've spent countless hours with them um, as you know the the owners, the seniors of the uh, of the business, and making sure that they understand how RF works. Not just that they are a, that they point and walk away. Um, they're expected to call in, into the office anytime they have an issue. They're expected that they will um, make the best decisions. They, they have minimums. They're not allowed to leave a house without this much RS inside, without this much signal to noise. And so it, it's, we, we actually put a lot of faith in them to make the right decisions. And if they cannot come up with a solution, then they call and don't leave the house. So we've, we've, we cross our fingers and say that we have hopefully eliminated bad installs. Um, here, very few, I would say less than 1% fail because we have some way to solve the problem, whether that's a relay site or whether that's a micro pop or something of that nature. But even to the tower, I would say 95 to 98% are, are success. Uh, we are very actively, uh, transitioning into fiber to the home we have uh we have the almost the design almost complete and hopefully we'll start putting fiber in the ground this year and transitioning the customers into more of a fiber capacity rather than a wireless capacity only because of the limits we have so much going on in such a tight space